Are you ready for today's story? Today's story is written by an author named Jan Brett. She is the author and illustrator of many books, many books that I enjoy reading. She has a very special way of making her pictures in her book that give you something that I like to call sneak a peeks. Sneak a peeks are little hints about what's going to come next in the story. I can't wait to show it to you. Today, we are reading The Mitten. It says, adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. So adapted means that it was someone else's story, but she changed it a little bit so that she could tell it her way. And then she made the pictures. Take a look at this picture on the cover. What do you see? There are so many things to see. Let's first look at the thing that everybody on the cover sees. What are they all looking at? Right, it's this thing. This is a white mitten. That is also the name of our story, the mitten. We have a mouse looking at it, a bear looking at it, an owl looking at it, a mole, a rabbit, a fox, a badger, and a hedgehog all looking at that one mitten. Now, why do you suppose they're looking at it? Maybe they want to try it on. Let's see. The mitten. Now this page, you might not think that there's much to look at here, but actually there is. It's those sneaky peeks I was telling you about. Here in this sneaky peek, we see the boy and he's looking out the window. And what does he see? Snow. So of course, what does he wanna do? Yep, wants to go outside in it. And there he is, heading out. He forgot a few things. He doesn't have a hat on, or gloves, or a coat, none of those things. Here we go. Before we start, let's look at this picture. In this sneak -a peek window that's in the shape of a mitten, we see a grandma. She has this big wheel with some string on it. This is called a spinning wheel. She's spinning yarn. And we use yarn to make things like sweater, scarves, and mittens. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. Grandma's gonna make him some mittens and he wants it to be white. Here she's getting some white yarn. What's the problem with having white mittens in white snow though? Right, they match, it's the same color. So if you drop your mitten in the snow, will it be easy or hard to see? It will be hard to see because it's the same color and it's camouflaged. Can you say camouflaged? That means that when it's the same color as the thing it's on, it's harder to see. Sometimes it's almost invisible looking. First, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. She didn't want to do it at first. If you drop one in the snow, she answered, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens. And finally, Baba made them. His grandma's name is Baba and she says, if you drop them, you're not gonna be able to find them. But he says, I really want white. So she made them for him. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound. And then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So that's the first thing is to make sure he's safe. The second is to make sure he has those mittens. So there, there's Baba, there's his footprints. He's going out. So off Nikki went and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens 
dropped in the snow and was left behind. Oh dear, his Baba warned him and now he has lost it. How do you think Baba will feel? Probably angry. As we get ready to turn the next page, I want to show you in this naked peek window, there's an animal snuffling along. I wonder if that animal will find the men. Let's see. A mole, that's that animal, a mole tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Look at that. He found the mitten and it was nice and cozy and warm, so he went inside of it. In the meantime, we see Nikki over here running around playing. Has he noticed that he lost his mitten? Nope, he's just still playing. But underneath him, we see in the sneaky peek window, something in a log. I wonder if we will see that creature next. Hop, 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 there it is, it's hopping out. It's a rabbit. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. That means his fur. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. Now remember, there's a mole already in there. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. He didn't want that rabbit to kick him, so he let him in. Now there are two animals in the mitten. And we see Nikki. He's still playing. He has not noticed that he lost the mitten. And he's over here near another animal who is peeking out. And here he comes. What do you think he's going to do? I think he's going to find the mitten too. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent that day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. Hmm, do you think that mitten is big enough for a hedgehog? The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles. See, a hedgehog has prickles. They didn't want to get poked. So they made room for him. Now there's three creatures in that one little mitten, all trying to make it their home. Let's go look at our sneaky peek windows. There's Nikki. He's looking in a hole in the tree. But up, 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 up. What do we see? Hoo, hoo. Do we see, I should say. Yeah, it's an owl. And now he's flying along. What do you think he's going to do? Yep, I think so too. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. Mm. Why do you think they grumbled? Mm. Yeah, it's too squishy. They don't think there's room for anybody else, especially a big giant owl. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. His talons are his claws. They realized that if they didn't, that the owl would probably grab them with his claws. And they didn't want that to happen, so they decided, well, let's choose to be nice and let him in. And then we see in the sneaky peeks, there's Nikki still playing. Oh, look, he's made some snowballs and he's throwing them. How is he throwing those snowballs without his mittens on? His hands must be so cold. And yet he still hasn't noticed that he's missing one. But over here in the tree, down in the bottom, I see somebody. 
smoke out. What kind of animal do you think that is? It looks a little bit like a skunk because it's black and white, but it's actually a badger. It's a badger. Can you say badger? Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. What? That's too many animals in the mitten. Look at it. What's happening to the mitten? It's stretching out. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Yep, come on, get in, you can get in. They didn't want the badger to hurt them, so they said, come on in. Here we see Nikki is still blissfully unaware. That means he doesn't even notice that he has lost a mitten. And who is under him in the log pile? Right, it is a fox. Here's the fox, he's running along. What do you think the fox is going to do? Well, why not? Everybody else is in the mitten, right? It started snowing, but the animals were snug inside the mitten. A weft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotted by to investigate. What is investigate? You have to check things out. He wanted to see what's going on here. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his nuzzle in. When the mole, the rabbits, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger, that's five animals, saw his shiny teeth, gave, they gave the fox lots of room. They figured, we don't want him to bite us, so we'll let him come in too if he wants to. So he did. Here we go, Nikki's still playing and the, and the snow is coming down. And as he's going down this hill, that's probably above a little snow cave, we see a bear. And the bear is coming along. <laughs> this is humorous, right? It's funny. Does that gigantic bear think that he's going to get into a little mitten? Well, what happened to the mitten? It stretched out for all those animals. Do you think it can stretch more for the bear? Or perhaps it might break. Let's see what happens. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? Would you argue with a bear? I wouldn't either, I'd let him in. The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. I think he got in. And Nikki's just sitting and relaxing and underneath him in the stump is a little teeny tiny <laughs> mouse. I noticed that all the animals kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And now the last animal is so, so tiny. Do you think he wants to get inside the mitten too? Do you think there's room for one tiny little mouse? Let's see. Here he goes, scurry, 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 scurry. He's scurrying along. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. That's where she found a spot on the bear's nose. Now they're all cozy warm. Let's look here. Oh, look, Nikki is looking down. He has finally noticed that he lost his mitten. And over here, he's like, oh no, my mitten, ah. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 
The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Psh, 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 psh. They are all out of the mitten. And there is Nikki running around looking for his mitten. Where is it? And he is running to find it. In the meantime, all of the animals are out. Well, where is the mitten? When he sneezed, ah, 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 choo, it flew up into the air. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. So when the mitten is on the snow, you can't see it well because it's the same color. But when it flew into the sky, Nikki saw it because it was against the blue sky. And there's the poor animals feeling a little dazed from popping out of there. Poor things. They just wanted to get cozy. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. Remember she said, when he comes home, first she will check and see if he's okay, and next she will check and see if he still has his mittens. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Let's see over here in the sneaky peek. The animals are all going back to their old homes, back where they were before. Just like Nikki is going back to his home. And this page doesn't have any words. This page just wants us to look at Baba. What do you think Baba is thinking? Is she looking at the little mitten? And the mitten that was stretched out. She's probably thinking, how in the world did this happen? But Nikki doesn't know because he didn't see. They're probably very confused. The end. And there's the author, that's Jan Brett right there. She made this book for you to enjoy. And did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it too. Thanks for reading with me, friends. Bye now.